your ex-manager, my ex-manager, Ron Washington, just got the job with your division rival, the Angels. How do you think he's going to do? And people ask me all the time, what was it like playing for Wash? I say, Wash was great. He was he was up front. He told you where he stood. And he had the best meetings of all time. I know your boy <laughs> Kinsler and I would sit there, and Ian would just look at me while he's talking, and we would just bust out laughing. Uh, yeah. So tell me about Wash and how you think he's going to do in Anaheim. I love Wash, man. He's he's. I'm so happy for him. I know he's wanted to manage for a while. Um, but one thing I really respect about Wash, man, is that like you see guys who who manage, right, and they take time off. They don't want to go back and coach. They're like, all right, I'm a manager. I've established myself as a manager. This is what I do. And then maybe they get let go from their job, and then they wait a couple more years, and they kind of find another managerial opening, and they go manage. Wash went, you know, didn't the job in Texas ended, and next thing you know, he's coaching in Oakland, back at it in a you know pool of sweat. And then he goes to Atlanta, and he's coaching, and all his infielders are raving about him. I mean, he, we, there's clips of him coaching opposing players in the all-star game. I mean, the guy is just all about making people better. And then, so while he wants to get another managerial job, he's coaching, he's in the middle of it to try and make players better. And that's something that really grabs players' attention. You know what I mean? And so the guy like that, to me, really deserves a second opportunity to be another manager. Uh, usually when you have a team that's trying to turn things around, you're really kind of striving for energy guys, guys who are super competitive, guys who are motivated, who are hungry, who, like you said, AJ, like there's no bullshit. There's, he doesn't, pull any punches he gives you the honest truth and you know, wash is kind of thought of in some baseball circles like this kind of like you know funny guy because he's always got a smile on his face but he's extremely competitive man and winning means something to him so uh i again i was super happy for him um i think uh i think he's gonna do great uh it's an in-division team obviously uh but from a personal side uh i, I couldn't be happier for the guy so is the text like hey congratulations and i can say this now because he's a free agent we're going to try and take your best player. <laughs> so I, <have> Donnie. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, first of all, watch his text is the best, right? He, he throws an exclamation point after every word. Hey, exclamation point. Mike, exclamation point. It's exclamation point. Wash. I'm like, dude, I got your fucking number. You don't got to tell me who it is. Like, you, so, <laughs> but and then one thing I love about Wash, though, if I text him, it's a phone call two seconds after. Like, he rarely texts back. It's always a phone call. Like, he wants to hear your voice. He's one of, he's one of those guys. Um, and I, I've always appreciated that. You know, every time I text him, it's, it's a phone call right after. Um, regarding the Otani thing, I mean, that's, that is straight above my, my pay grade. That's an ownership call. Um, I think there's going to be, a, a, obviously, a ton of teams that are going to be, you know, trying to figure out a way to, to fit him into their budgets and to get him wrapped up for the next, whatever, 10 to 12 years. Um, uh, I've never seen anything like this. You know, it's, it's the one th way I can best describe Otani is that, for all the great players we see in the game now, the Acunas and the Sotos and the Trouts and the Mookies, like we're going to see, I think, as time goes on, I think players just get better and better. I think we'll see those guys again at, in a different form in the next generation of players. I'm not convinced we'll ever see another Shohei. I think there's going to be guys who try and do the two-way thing, but I, never, I don't think we'll ever see anything like him again. This is super unique, and uh, again, uh, it, this is one of a kind. I think we got to enjoy it. Even taking, you know, your your Rangers um, front office hat off for a sec and putting your player hat on, is it fair for us as fans of the sport to root for him to be in a spot where he's going to be in the postseason? Because we can just look at recent history. Like, he has not played a playoff game. And in your mind, for the health of the sport and the marketing of one of the best talents we'll ever see, maybe that we will ever see, and definitely the most unique that we've all ever seen. Is it a problem where he hasn't been in the postseason at all? Like, I mean, using the basketball example from earlier, like, and I use this a lot, LeBron's in the playoffs every year. We haven't had our best player showcased on a national slash international stage. 100%. I mean, we can try and like, uh, you know, crank out the WBC is one of those things, but it's not. I mean, it, it, during the W, I coached this year on Team USA. It was a blast. I've, I've heard players say, like, interviews during the WBC, what would you rather win, the WBC or the World Series? I'm like, how is that even a question? That's the dumbest question I've ever heard. It's that they don't even compare to each other, right? So, yes, to answer your question, we, the game is much, much healthier when the best players are on the biggest stages and October is the biggest stages. You know, you want players in September and October to be playing nothing but meaningful baseball. The second that, you know, we are in September when guys are, when teams are really making that final push into the playoffs, either to try and earn their spot in or to line themselves up to have the, you know, the, the most success, that's when you want to see the best players on the, on the biggest stage. So yeah, I, yeah, from a fan's perspective, 
Absolutely. You want the best players playing in October. I, I think that's, it's necessary for the health of the game to have that happen.